Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Hey, guys, we got a customer video deck in today um, from a customer. He sent me this uh, three quarter Yomatic. It's, it's a, it's a, it's one of the play playback versions only. It's a V as in Victor, P as in Paul, nine thousand series. Well, this deck has a lot of issues, and the one issue he told me about. So I'd like to walk you through the repair on this deck. Yeah, this one has definitely has some issues. First of all. Uh, if you own a three-quarter Yomatic machine and you, you got to know how to properly clean the video heads, uh, this particular gentleman, I don't know what he did, but he was trying to clean the video heads on this drum or a scanner and he broke the tips right off. So I have to replace the entire scanner, which is no problem. I do have two of them sitting here. So, I mean, I could replace the scanner, but it's expensive, folks. It's not a cheap fix. But anyways, he broke the video heads on this unit, and yeah, big time disaster. <laughs> I mean, serious. Uh, next problem we had was the loading carriage. I replaced the belts. I had to do all the uh, alignment and lubrication on this thing. This thing is quite off, actually, for playback, so we're not even into that point yet. But it's got a bad scanner. Big problem. And the second problem we got here is I got to rebuild his uh, capstan roller. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'll show you. When the rollers get bad, they get very glazed. The one on the left is the replacement newer one. The one on the right's got all these little dimples and everything else. It's hard as a rock from sitting and just bare, bad rubber of the time or probably how it was cleaned during the year, over the years. But anyways, we gotta replace this roller on this one. This one is really bad. And when you have really bad rollers and you don't check them, what happens is it starts, when it's engaged, it will start leaning towards one end or one way up at the top or at the bottom, creating uh, the alignment to be off and playback to be off and it not to play properly. And then your tracking is just a complete mess. If the rollers have big issues, if they got giant dimples or cracks or anything like that in that, like this one here, it's sunken in in spots. This, you know, I, I knew right off the bat, I have to change this out because the playback's going to be, it's going to be lousy. And, um, Anyways, I do have a replacement spare. I don't have many of these. I'm running out of these fast. But this is the new roller that's going to go in there. And um, anyways, guys, when you're working on a three-quarter Yomatic, it's not just changing the belts. Sometimes you have to change video output cards if they're damaged, audio cards. Uh, I've seen it all. I've seen it where the front panels are all crushed in through UPS shipping, which is a very big problem I'm having right now. I've got several video decks from customers coming in and, I mean, I'll bust my ass working on these things and they get totally destroyed, okay? It's just, it's ridiculous. Gotta properly ship these things. When you ship them, they've gotta be boxed so well that they could drop it off the Sears Tower and the damn thing can get destroyed. I mean, these, these UPS guys are a bunch of idiots and so is FedEx. All idiots. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They're just throwing these things around. I'm getting damaged goods by, every, it seems like every other day I'm getting a video deck that's destroyed. It's unbelievable. But anyways, this one was packed well. He listened to me. It wasn't, it, you know, it didn't get too much, too much uh, shipping problems. But he listened to me on the packaging, and, and I finally got it today. So we fixed the loading carriage. We can do all the mechanism, simple stuff, which is the basics on this deck. Um, the uh, scanner, like I said, guys, you know, if you got one of these decks, and once you break the video heads, I mean, literally break them off with like the Q-tip or something, because you don't know what you're doing. Or you snag it on some cleaning material or whatever, and you break those video heads. Getting these scanners are not easy to get, guys. I mean, they're not easy to find. You know, I happen to have a lot of parts because I get so many machines from time to time. But if you break your scanner, this is a very expensive repair. It's not cheap. This goes for all the three-quarter pneumatic machines, no matter what machine it is. So anyways, we got, we're got we going to get the scanner in. We're going to get a brand new capstan roller in. We've got the belts changed, lubrication alignments, and everything else. And once we get to that point, we'll be ready to ship this back to this guy. So hope you guys enjoyed this video.